Yeah, so we got um, some scrimmage in today. Just worked on some uh, different scenarios. Um, I'm, I'm happy with where we're at offensively and defensively. And there was some good back and forth today. Uh, guys made plays. It was clean. Uh, stayed stayed relatively healthy. Um, I'm excited for the guys to get back from that May break and get another eight weeks with Coach Roll in the summertime before we get going in fall camp. What's on your to-do list now? We just have exit interviews. Guys got to finish up strong academically with finals. Um, hitting the recruiting trail tough with the transfer portal and uh, trying to get a good jump on evals with the 24 and 25 class. And um, that's about it. I asked you after the first practice, what, how did you, how would you determine success? You're through 15 practices now. Would you say it was success this spring? Definitely. Well, we got better. I felt like every day, I don't think there was a, a practice where uh, we wasted one. Um, you know, even, even when we got thin at some certain spots, guys stepped up and, and we were still able to get good work and uh, just get some situational football stuff taken care of and uh, introduced before we hit fall camp uh, in, the, in August. Uh, so I'm, I'm very, very pleased with where you are, not only as a, as a team from a roster standpoint, but also with the, as a staff. You know, this is our first time working um, in its totality together, and um, it's been, it's been awesome experience. Uh, guys are, are um, doing the right things and working hard, and uh, really diving into getting to know their position groups, and um, couldn't, couldn't be, uh, couldn't be more pleased with the, what we've put together so far. You know, it's football, so people are always going to want to know about the progress of the quarterbacks. How would you uh, assess that position groups uh, this spring practice? Yeah, I think Coach uh, Harrell's done a great job with them, um, and that's what I expected. That's why that's why we hired him. Um, you know, Hudson Card, I feel like, has got a chance to be really special. Um, you know, hadn't hadn't played a, a ton of ball as a as a starter, but he's, he's very mature, very poised. Um, got a good command of, of what we're trying to do schematically and and he's got he's got some talent so I'm, I'm happy he's here um, you know Brady's done a, a great job of just improving on a, on a daily basis uh, still young still got a, some uh, maturing to do but uh, very very excited about his future and um, you know Ryan the, the, the other scholarship guy we got um, you know as a, for a, a true freshman um, love his moxie love his competitive nature um, he's, he's fun to, to watch play, uh, takes chances, you know, with the ball down the field. Uh, sometimes he's got to learn to get what the defense gives him, but I love that mentality. You'd, you'd much rather um, slow them down than, than speed them up. So, you know, happy with the guys we got. What did today's practice entail as far as the scrimmage goes? How did you implement some new things? Kind of still uh, we were just playing football, so, you know, situations are going to happen. Um, didn't feel like we need to fabricate any scenarios today. Um, for this last one, just wanted to get out and, and go play, put the ball down, and, and see how the guys reacted. And um, you know, we got got good quality work in, and um, and got out uh, healthy. So, we'll, we'll be all right. what are the biggest takeaways from the, the last few weeks of the spring that you kind of think about and take into account coming into the summer and fall? Yeah, just you know, for us as a staff, just really getting to know the roster, uh, getting to evaluate you know some of the positions of need, and, um, and to to better direct us in the recruiting trail and uh, really in the, um, the transfer portal as well. And so you know, I'm, I'm happy with where we're at and, and who we've got targeted and uh, who I think we can potentially land here in the next couple of weeks. Do you feel like you've been able to develop a lot of relationships Absolutely. and personal connections with all the guys so far? Absolutely. You know, that's obviously that's always a, a process. Um, but really, really happy with the, the type of guys we got in the locker room. You know, no egos. The guys are, are really working hard. and. Uh, got good chemistry and, and we're rooting for each other and take care of each other. How, how much different is this roster? Um, potentially, it could look a lot different. You know, if, if uh, I think happens, happens. Um, obviously, you never know with with um, recruiting these days and, and NIL and uh, what some some schools may or may not be able to offer and provide. But um, we'll see. We'll see uh, in, in June who's here and who's not. Have there, any, have there been any big differences between the, the three scrimmages you guys kind of did? Any, any specific areas you guys uh, improved on? Yeah, there have been. Um, you know, that first scrimmage, it was a, a much more controlled situations. Um, the second scrimmage, you know, it was all live and, um, you know, more move the ball scenarios. And then this one was more thud than it was um, live. We did do a segment of live. 
um, tackling, but you know, wanted to stay healthy. Just uh, we, we know who we got, we know what, you know who, who we can count on, and um, just wanted to really stay healthy coming out of the scrimmage. What do you think of that the front five that, and especially those outside linebackers as they make a transition and some of them standing up and coming off the edge like that? Yeah, I mean the front five is who was beat up the most, you know. So a lot of the guys that did a lot of playing last year, I haven't been able to see them with pads on, you know. Um, definitely think Nick Carraway's got a chance to be special. Um, Joe Anderson did a hell of a job this uh, spring. Will help, I think is 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 his potential is is limitless. Um, you know, Corday was, did an awesome job when once he got cleared to go. Uh, Mo did a uh, great job. I mean, Mo is a, was a workhorse man. He, he took damn near every rep um, in the spring and, and didn't bat an eye. Um, so I'm you know, happy with with those guys, and I'm I'm excited to get the guys, other guys back.